All right. One day on my mission, after I said goodbye to George, and mm -hmm. gone, gone over to France with his brother, Michael, um, I'm down in Nice, and I received a bracelet from George, and lo and behold, it's a little uh, spinner that says, yes, no, yes, no. So I knew he was still interested. Oh, I told I gave away, huh? You did. <laughs> what did you think when you, that arrived? Oh, we, we both laughed, my companion and I. Who was your companion? I, I had the that feeling was, that, that we, Johnson? we would get a chance to see each other again and you know, I, get one last shot to decide if we were really interested. It could have been That's Sandy all. Johnson or it could have been um, Bobby Wilkins or it could have been Marilyn Plowgen. I don't know where I was actually. I could have been in Nice, Geneva, Lausanne. Did you wear it? Strasbourg. <laughs> no. <laughs> she, knew, she just used it. She used it for the I'd like to know, time. Dad, where you bought it. Yeah, so, where like did the story of where you got it. Oh, did it say that? I, no, I, I, I want to know it. where you got I it. I can't remember where I bought it. I just know I would have, I, if I'd received maybe it, I, I would have kept, you kept know records. I would have kept statistics on it. I would have kept statistics to see whether yes or no were significantly different. <laughs> over the long run. Did, 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 did Rosemary, you remember where you got that, honestly? Did Rosemary, really did Rosemary buy this for you? I can't remember where I got it. I really don't know. I don't think it was Rosemary. Your mother? I don't know. Oh, no. I, Maybe you took it out of your mom's collection? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that for sure not. My mother and dad never, never waffled at all. They got married. We oh, met yeah. each other. I found a note in their stuff. Mother is writing to her friend and said, who's that cute guy? I have four four rows down in church. I think his name's George or something. <laughs> That's the first That's time she noticed him. And I have a note to her friend on that. Isn't that weird? I got to put that in their history. And I can't tell you, I just went to that building. We drove by that old, oh, church, old church in Washington, yeah. D.C. The wonderful church they got from the Seventh-day Adventists. But now it's in other churches. Now. Yeah, they, we sold it again. I wonder, Eric, again. if you used that bracelet when you were making a decision. <laughs> yeah. That bracelet? Oh, I needed a bracelet like that. I just tell you one quick thing. When my mother and dad were, were uh, dating, mother was very quiet. My father, of course, was very flamboyant. So he was worried that they wouldn't have anything to talk about. Oh, so they're yeah. driving in a car together, and dad says to mother, Marva, I want you to give me a five minute impromptu talk. <laughs> my mother said, no. And he, <laughs> and he said, you'll make a good wife for somebody else. And she got out of the car. <laughs> that was. I'd like you to give no. me an impromptu talk. Yeah. Yeah. On whatever topic? Yeah, on whatever topic, yeah. Right, the mother was, was very quiet, and so. That is really crude. I think that's a really bad thing to say. Well, no pushover. No pushover, no. She should have she given put, him a bracelet like that. She that's right. Funny. Yes? She wouldn't no. put up with yeah. that. Yeah. She, she wouldn't put up with that kind of nonsense. Mother was too sharp. See, and that's the way they were. Mother was always very to the point. If I had a question, oh, yeah. wanted the two second answer, I'd go to mother. If I wanted a two hour long philosophical discussion, <laughs> I'd go to my father. We'd come to the same conclusion. Yeah. How about different. giving us a two-hour right. philosophical discussion on, on the sex? <laughs> <laughs> well, we went on. <laughs> <laughs> That's he, we when did. you used the bracelet. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> he took us to, he, we asked that question, I guess we went over to the neighbor's yard, and he told us about the birds and the bees, because we didn't understand anything. Came oh. back, and in two minutes, mother told us what it was all about. <laughs> it was all about. My parents never did tell me anything. Do you know that? I didn't know. I thought babies came out of navels. So what I did was uh, finally, I, I, I found books. I, I had to look, find a book in the library and read the whole dang thing. I educated myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. I was about 12 or 13. I, I, they, wait, didn't, I, they didn't tell you in schools in those days. 